Hi, welcome to another recording from First in Architecture. Um, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the stretch tool. Um, there are various different ways you can use it, it's a really useful little tool, um, so let's get started. The first way you can use the stretch tool um, is not even typing in a command, you can just use the simple um, grips that you have on an object. So let's just zoom in here to um, this rectangle and I'll select the rectangle and as you can see you get these little blue grip points. These are kind of stretch points, so as I hover the mouse over one of the points you see you've got the options here. We're just going to stick with stretch today. I'm not even going to actually select any of those options, I'm just going to click on the grip and start moving it. And as you can see I can move the rectangle up and down. Um, I've currently got ortho one so if I switch that off you can even move it left to right just like this. Um, again you can do the same with the corners, so I'm just going to click on the grip point and drag it around. So you're, you're stretching an object really simply um, and this obviously only works if you're wanting to stretch one side or one corner of one object. Um, it gets a little bit more interesting when you look at stretching multiple objects at the same time. So let's move on to that. Here we've got a couple of objects jumbled together. Um, so let's say we want to stretch this line here and this line here of this object. So, to start the stretch command, you can do it in two ways. You can select your items first and then um, initiate the command, or you can do it the other way around. For argument's sake, I'm going to select the items first. So when selecting what you want to stretch, you want to use the uh, crossing object selection method, which basically when you um, start to make a selection, if the box has the dashed lines around it and the green, it's going to select a part, um, part of the element, like this. So if I now activate the stretch command, S for stretch, I'm going to specify a base point, I'm just going to randomly click and start dragging. You can see I'm dragging those points. Okay. If I had gone the other way and selected everything using the, um, the blue rectangle, this selects everything as long as it's within the window. So I'll show you. There. So I've selected one box because that box was completely encompassed by the blue selection box, but this rectangle wasn't. So I'll just show you again. So there. Anyway, you don't want to use that, you want to use the green one. So you, you always pull your mouse to the left hand side, left up or left down, um, and we'll select the, the faces that we're going to want to stretch. So let's click. I'm going to press S for stretch and enter and I'm going to specify a base point. Let's say I'm going to um, start stretching from this corner here. Click, and I'm going to just start dragging. You can drag anywhere you like, or you can turn ortho on and stretch um, along the x-axis, like that. So that's the simple way of using the stretch command. Another way of using the stretch tool is to use the displacement method. So I'm just going to stretch this back to how it was, roughly, um, and let's actually work on this one for the minute. So I'm going to do exactly the same. I'm going to select the face that I'm going to want to stretch. I'm going to press S for stretch and enter. And you can see in the command bar it says specify base point, which is what we did before, or displacement. So let's try the displacement method. So I'm going to press D for displacement and then I'm going to press enter. Now it's asking us how much we want to stretch this item by in an X, Y and Z. So let's start off with the X. Let's say we want to move the X along 4, comma. Let's say we want to move Y 6, comma. And um, Z is vertical so we're going to leave that for the time being. We're just going to put 0. And I'm going to press enter, and there you go. So we stretched the item 4 on the X, which is horizontal, and 6 on the Y. So that's another way if you know exactly how far and you want to use your stretch. But likewise, you can kind of, if you specify um, your base point, you can still um, type in the distance you want to stretch this by. So if I just type in 30, for example it will stretch it by 30. So that's another thing you can do. You can stretch according to 
a number that you type in. So let's go back 35, enter. So you can be accurate with the stretch tool as well. Okay, so that's all well and good. Nice, easy stretching. Um, but let's say we're going to want to do a little bit more than that. Um, so I'm just going to copy this across and just make it a little bit more tricky. So let's say we're wanting to stretch this box upwards and this box upwards, but not this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the three boxes. What did I say? Not this one. Then I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to click on the box I don't want to stretch and that deselects it. So holding down shift and clicking on something that's already selected will deselect it. So this is really useful when you're using the stretch tool. So I'm now going to activate the stretch tool. So I'm going to press S for stretch and then I'm going to specify a base point randomly and as you can see I'm only stretching the two rectangles that I wanted to stretch and the other one has stayed in position. Okay, likewise, let's do this again. So let's stretch them all um, to the left. So I'm going to select these three boxes. And let's say we don't want to stretch this one here. I'm going to hold down Shift and click. It's deselected it. I'm going to press S for stretch. And then I'm going to specify my base point. This time I'm going to do it from here. And there you go again. You can see we're only stretching these two rectangles. Another way stretch is really useful is when you've got um, slightly more complex things to do. So let's say we've got all these notes here um, and we've decided we need a bit more space between the notes because we want to add a bit more information onto this drawing. Really simple. We can just do um, our selection tool, select all the notes, S for stretch, and I can stretch them back just like that. That's really handy way of um, working with notes and things just to get things just how you want them. Another thing you can do, I'm going to turn off this hatch because hatch doesn't stretch very well. And I'm also going to turn off the text. You know, let's say we want this wall to be a lot higher. Um, we can select S for stretch and stretch. Obviously you'd need to copy in this information. But this just gives you an idea of how useful the stretch tool is and how much you can use it in your drawings. I'll show you another thing we could do. Let's stretch this across. It's so handy. Um, and all it is is a selection. Let's deselect that. S for stretch, spacebar or enter. Specify your base point and drag. And that's it. So hopefully that's given you an idea of what you can do with the stretch tool. Um, really handy little tool. And all it is is S for stretch and then stretch away. Um, thanks for watching and see you next time.